we didn't really budget. No. We didn't no. really know what we were was, getting ourselves into. We need to into. get it done, and we're getting it done. <laughs> we didn't really regardless. know what this would cost, so hopefully this helps you. For our sheet metal and our structural steel, so our sheet metal panels, our square tubing, our angle iron, our three-quarter inch square tubing around the windows. Um, we spent about $1,300 on all of that. It's a little bit more too because I had my, my sheet metal panels cut to size, so I wasn't wasting time on the job cutting everything and making everything fit. They have a metal break at the shop there. And they cut it nice straight, it's clean cut, and uh, it fits good. So people should try to find a metal shop near them if they want to kind of speed up that process? Yeah, I mean, they could buy it cut or not cut. They buy full sheets yeah. and cut it themselves with an angle grinder or uh, the power shears. Um, but it cost us 1300 Total, yeah. yeah. So it would be a little less if we didn't have all the cuts made. Right. For consumables on a welder, we have uh, argon gas. We've gone through roughly two tanks on this build so far. And uh, you have your welding wire, you have your tips, you have gloves. You wear through gloves a lot. Um, so between a couple tanks, a uh, 12 pound spool of wire, tips, we're looking at $300. We had our steel corners uh, cut to size at the sheet metal shop and they rolled them. I, I made a, a template with a piece of cardboard. After we lifted the roof, I set a piece of cardboard on the top of this corner and described it with a marker with a Sharpie. I brought it to them I told them how long I needed it and it's got to be rolled this shape. And that cost me $60 to have all four rolled. So. What's worth it? It's definitely worth it. For rivets, we spent about $380 and used roughly 800 rivets. So do we, yourself a favor and buy the thousand buy, pack. I was just going to say that. Buy the <laughs> thousand pack. Here are the rivets here. Uh, we got three quarter inch long shank. So it, it, we could go through two layers. We can go through four layers, whatever it may be. They're plenty long enough and um, they work pretty well. We got the three quarter inch heads. So I was able to go through the old holes, the existing holes that we took the rivets out of. They came from the factory. Um, so the one size rivet did everything for us? Yes. I did use a 3 rivet with a smaller head for around the window frames, mm. just so the, the window trim wouldn't hit the bigger heads on these rivets. Right. So I just bought a small pack. We used maybe a dozen of those. Okay. But. We have other miscellaneous consumables that ends up being about $400 that you'll most likely wind up needing for your roof raise. So we have our primer, uh, tractor supply special. I use this in my spray gun um, for, the, for the big panels on the bus, for the big areas, we use that. For doing little spot primes, we use just the little rattle can of primer. And then we have, uh, we have your ProFlex RV, caulk sealant for all your your seams your joints and everything it's paintable which is important we have some butyl tape so we use this around our rv door the side door we put in yesterday put this around helps seal it up keep the water out then we have a can of bondo for dents and little repa uh, body repairs you want to do before you you do your final paint uh, painting uh, of course you're going to need tape measures, you're going to need Sharpies, pencils. All of these, yeah. All, and all of these things add up. We ended up getting a few gallons of the primer, a few Cans of the, of paint, yeah, yeah, everything. So it ended up being about $400 for these extra extra things that we, that we need. Here are some essential tools that you're going to need for working on your schooling or any type of metal work. You have uh, your angle grinders. So... Two different kinds here. We have the Craftsman one. This was like $40, but the Milwaukee one is $80, I want to say. Um, we use our wire wheels, cut off discs. These, these range $10, $20 each. They add up. You 
go through a lot of them. Uh, your air hammers for chiseling rivets and whatnot, uh, $40 each we, we spent on those. Your power shears for cutting the sheet metal to size. About 80 bucks. $80 for these. Your, your air riveter, power rivet gun is essential. You don't want to be doing this by hand on every single one. You won't be able to move your hands within a few minutes. $85 on that. 85 okay. And then random clamps, all shapes and sizes you're going to want from $20 and under. Um, we have uh, a little air power tool. I got, I've had this for years. $40 you can get this for. Um, we have our abrasive chop saw for cutting our angle iron. Our square tubing, anything you want to get a nice clean straight cut on. This is uh, this will run you about two hundred dollars in the store. And, and our organization. Yeah. It's essential to what we do. So yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> go go go! Don't clean. <laughs> We've been working fast. <laughs> yeah, everything. One on the job site, you don't wear flip flops or open toe shoes of any kind. Because there's pieces of steel. Oh, that's foam. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> lots of steel laying around that can cut you very badly. So keep kids away. And don't wear these. And don't wear those.